Hello and welcome. Today we would like to introduce you to our starter set Habitat. Ants live in different habitats and therefore different soil substrates depending on their origin. We have divided these into the four main categories desert, forest, rainforest and meadow. We offer these in our three standard sizes S, M and L with an inner plate spacing of 6, 10 or 20 millimeters. What is included in these data sets and how to set them up, we will show you next. This data set meadow has been developed for species that live in meadows or fields. The substrate is sandy to loamy and has a light humus percentage. The data set forest is used for forest dwelling species. The substrate corresponds to the normal forest soil, which consists of humus, is very dark and slightly sandy. It retrains moisture very well and due to the fibers it has a firm hold in the ant farm. The starter set desert is suitable for most Mediterranean or desert species. The substrate is sandy, slightly stony and also has a small amount of clay to become more solid in the ant farm. The starter set rainforest has been developed for species from humid tropical regions. The substrate has a very high peat and humus content with a slightly loamy sand percentage. However, this does not correspond exactly to the natural soil. In nature, rainforest soil is often extremely loamy and has a very thin humus layer on top. However, we have found in our tests that our substrate is better accepted this way by many species from these regions. First of all, here we have the arena, which is the exercise area where the animals provide themselves with food and water and dispose of their waste. The arena is equipped with an anti-escape frame and a glass cover with removable inserts. As a farm, we use the size M 20 by 20 cm. To connect them, we have this transparent hose as well as the basin hose connector. We will use the soil meadow to fill the farm and the soil layer in the arena. Equipment includes a thermohygrometer to measure the temperature and humidity, breakout protection oil and a sponge for application. Matching feeders, drinkers, food dispensers, a magnifying glass to look at details, spring steel tweezers to grab the animals, plastic tweezers to grab solid objects or waste and a pipette to moisten. Then there is the grid inserts 50mm, plug 50mm, plug 27mm and a cap 10mm. And last but not least a red cover sheet to give the ends an underground feel. How the whole set is assembled I will show you next. First we fill the arena with the substrate meadow. It should be noted that we fill only a very thin layer of 1-2mm. to two millimeters. If there is too much substrate, there is a risk that the animals will burrow into the arena instead of nesting in the designated farm or nest area. Now we will fill the farm and to make it easier we use a sheet of paper. First comes a layer of granules about 2-3 to three centimeters high. This actually only serves for ventilation and at the same time absorbs the excess moisture. If too much water accumulates at the bottom, it can be removed via the lower side excesses. You can simply use a small syringe for this purpose. With the soil meadow, you should fill about three quarters of the farm. At the top, leave some space so that the ants digging their tunnels have room to deposit the excess soil. Now we connect the basin hose connector to the arena. Then the hose is plugged in or on there and fixed. Now we push the other end into or onto the socket of the farm. With the single 27mm plug and 10mm cap, we close the remaining openings on the arena and the farm. Now I fill the drinker with water and put food in the feeder. I place these in the front area of the arena. This is the best way to check if the feeder is empty, if there is enough food or if the feeder may need to be cleaned. When everything is set up in the arena, I attach the thermohygrometer to the underside of the frame. To do this, I remove the protective film from the adhesive surface. Make sure that the thermohygrometer is attached to the frame inside and not to the outside edge. Otherwise, the frame no longer fits on the arena. Attention, there is only one gluing attempt because the glue holds extremely well and is difficult to remove. 
We now coat the frame with the breakout protection oil. You can use our included sponge for this or you can use a household cloth or your finger to apply it. Only apply a thin layer. Now we put the frame on the rubberized edge of the arena. Look again whether everything seals tightly. Theoretically, the setup would already be safe now because the animals cannot escape. To be on the safer side, we still have a glass cover where two interchangeable insets are inserted. The grid insert provides ventilation. As our final step, here we have a matching photo back wall for the arena, depending on the habitat with meadow, forest, desert or rainforest motif. Before we put the animals in, we moisten the farm. To do this, we remove the side cap and add a few drops of water with the pipette. For the first filling without animals, you can also remove the farm lid and moisten from above. Now everything is ready for the appropriate end colony. To put the colony into the arena, I open the nest tube and put it into the arena. The ants can now move out and feed themselves. In the beginning, it usually happens that the animals close the tube with substrate. This is due to the fact that the animals do not know that they are alone in the formicarium. There could be predators attacking the ants. That way, they feel safe for the time being. We hope you liked the video and it will help you with setting up your ant colony. See you soon and best regards from the Anster team in Berlin.